This is Sophie from RAS Community and today I want to make a comparison between three screen sizes uh, to give you an assumption how apps looks on different size of screen. I'm going to use the i7 from IQI which is the same as the i8 from IQI and the LEM7 from Lenfo and the Z-Blade Thor 4. So I'm going to use only one because they have the same size of display. For this comparison, I'm going to use also the Lenfo Lem 4 Pro, which is a square display, but this is a 2-inch display, and I also want to show you how it looks on square display. And of course, the Lem X from Lenfo, which is round display, with two, which is 2-inch huge display and let's start the first one is the i7 <clears throat> I'm going to show you a browser on it let's start from the first contacts okay I did not okay there it is okay <clears throat> Now let's show this on the i the Lenfo Lem 4 Pro. By the way, those two are Android 7 and the Lem 4 Pro is Android 5. Let's go. Contacts. Okay, that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> okay, let's start again. Oh, let me just change the brightness. Uh, the brightness, let's change a little bit. Let's go to low. We are low on the eye, the the LEM4 Pro is very nice even in direct sun which the AMOLED is different but this is also a LCD so I'm not sure okay let's start uh, where I was yeah contacts okay this is an Android 5, so the difference you can. Okay. And of course, the LEM7, the LEM X, excuse me. <clears throat> Let's go from the contacts. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Look the difference between those two. How small it is on the i7 on 1.4 inch and how it is on 2 inch. Amazing. Let's go back. Let's go back. No. Um, phone. No, this is messaging. I did not want messaging. I wanted phone. Okay. This is how it looks on the i7, the 1.4 inch. And this is how it looks on the Lemex. Again. He, not a huge difference, but still easier to do it on a bigger screen. Let's go here. Okay, no info here, but <clears throat> as you can see, look the different in size. I mean, seriously. Okay, let's see now on the. Oh, crappy. Okay, um. Okay, that's 
iPhone. I actually like the Android 5 dialer way better than on the Android 7, but both of them are okay. Okay, that's dialer, messaging. What's the difference between the... It's not that much of a difference. If you see it here, it's almost the same, if not the same, on Android 7. But what I was trying to show you is the size of the screen. Oh, it's so hard to do in which... Okay, there it is. Look at the difference. I mean, seriously, that is so different. Okay. Now, settings, you already know. By the way, as you know, power saving here, <clears throat> the clock, where it is, power saving, power saving, where is it? Power saving on this watch is different because here you can see how long it was on. Same here. Where is it? Oh yeah, just a sec. Power saving. No. Oh yeah. As you can see, power saving. Here you can see how long it was on, which on Android 5 you don't have it. Let me show you. See? You don't have... No. No. Power saving. Okay, you don't have this info. You have only the graph, not the time. Okay, let's go back, go back. Browser, easy on a square display even, but just because this is just because it is a square display but two inch is different I mean more most square displays are 1.54 and this is two inch that's a big difference same here if we go back go back go back and go to browser Okay. Mm. Okay, this is the brown, the stock browser. I'm using Chrome. It's small, but if you use Chrome, it's way bigger. Look how convenient it is on two-inch display, which on 1.4-inch display, it's harder use why it's going let's go browser okay um, wow that's too too bright okay I have to change the brightness I'll be right back Okay, I've changed the brightness. Okay. Uh, let's go to Google. I mean, seriously. Let's go from 
No, it's not what I wanted. Oh, it is weird. Okay. This is how it looks on very small, I mean, seriously. You've seen how different it is. Look how different, how easy to see what you wanted to see. Which on small screen you can't. Okay, let's go back. Now let's try something else. Calendar. I know it's the stock calendar, I just want to show you how small it is compared to big size. Look at the difference. I mean, seriously, look at the difference. If you want to see if they are near each other, I mean, seriously. Okay. Oh, okay. Focus is went. Okay, there it is. I mean, seriously, way better on big screen. Way better. Let's see it on the Lamp 4 Pro. Where are you, calendar? Where it is? As. <laughs> Even here, the low X is way bigger. And this is too inch and this is too inch, but seriously, that's huge. Okay, this is, was a calendar. I'm only going to show you certain apps that I think it's clock no not camera clock no not calendar clock yeah clock clock on the Lemex nice okay by the way I want to um different of the voice the sounds I want to show you also um, that you can understand how big that watch if gallery I'm not gonna music same I think on both screen size it's doable so no need file manager, high rate monitor, etc. What I want to show you is not the weather. Again, it's fine on small screen and it's fine on big screen. I actually want to show you the Google, no, not, oh yeah, maps. I will show you Google map, uh, Google Play Store later. I want to show you map. What? Okay. I mean, come on. It's way better to use bigger screen than small screen, even for maps. I mean, look at the difference of the size. I never used maps on small screens before since the Lemex I am I've checked I play with it and wow that's amazing seriously wow now on the Lamp 4 Pro where's maps maps there it is Guys, I haven't checked yet the connectivities, if they work well or not on the LAM4 Pro, but I will, I promise. Um, OK, 
okay as you can see change I will put it I have no idea just let me sh just a sec okay this is how it looks on the lamp 4 pro and the same I've used the watch to track what I needed at, with the maps but what is wrong now that I don't see where I am I mean you see the blue dot I don't see it here even though the GPS is on so I don't know if because of the updates or something else so I have to check it did fall hard on the floor and as you can see the screen is cracked so I hope it did not damage anything inside like antennas or anything I'm not sure I just hope um, that's about the maps now I want to go to Uh, Google Play Store yeah even in the round display it's very very small no 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 I did not want that even on the round display on, on the round display it's very small so you have to go to Square display to see better, so it is nice. Okay, it. I mean, till now we've used this small screen, so it was okay, and we were happy. But since the king came, since the king came. Holy crap, I have to change the, this, this, the brightness because I don't see nothing. Okay. Okay. This is how it looks on the... Lamex, and this is how it looks on just a sec. Let's change it back to round. Okay, leave the difference seriously. Now let's change back to square. Let's change back to square. No. Look at the difference. I mean, seriously, look at the here up. I mean, from you can actually seriously use anything very easily on this watch. But they both great guys. It's not about who is better. This is a matter of choice. What comfortable for you what you see it more suitable for you as long as connect again as long as connectivities are good and battery life is great then it doesn't matter if you prefer smaller display or bigger display that's it that's what I mean I'm not showing here to make compare who is better or what I know I'm used to the Lamex because of the big screen and it's very comfortable but I'm not saying that go buy the Lamex I'm saying buy the one that you really really like now let's see the Lamp 4 Pro let's go back Google Play Store there it is okay there it is square display is always much easier to deal with oh but by the way this is interesting how it looks on square display how small it becomes that is 
interesting. Let's go back to full display. Okay, that's it, guys. I will make more comparison. Oh, by the way, no, no. I want to show. Oh, I yeah. I want to show you an app that I use. Oh, okay, guys. An app that I which I use. Just a sec. Uh, where it is? Where it is? Where is it? Where is it? There it is, sense me. Cancel. Okay. Here it is on the lamb, the eye, excuse me, on the eye 7. 1.4 inch display. And here it is. How it looks. I have the apps to to make easier control, but not when I'm using video. Where is it? Sense me, sense me, sense me. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay, look at the difference. I mean, really. And this is on the this square display, which minimize it more. So think of round display. Wow, wow, the difference. But on both of them is, it's good. I mean, it's seriously good. Let's see it on the Lamp 4 Pro. If I did not, oh, there it is. Okay, here it's going to show you like this. Cancel. Okay, that's I'm not gonna do. I'm not. You, I used to use mainly it for my activities. No more. I'm using the Lam X. Look, almost the same size as on the Lam X. Okay, that's it guys, to show you the comparison between the display sizes, um, make your own choices, all of them are great watches, all of them work fine, which one is for you, only you can decide, so stay tuned and more videos will come, please subscribe, bye bye.